And no way, he's just freaking arrived. <gasps> oh, you already really hate each other. I can lay a supernatural smackdown. And oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, welcome to the angry house. <laughs> I just joined the family and everyone's real angry. We've uh, got Rain being angry because of the call of the moon. Also, Luna's angry from the call of the moon, but more than anything, she's feeling smitten and flirty. So she's somehow like, you know, fighting the urge to be angry just because she's feeling a certain type of way. We also have some angry baby wolves. We've got an angry Artemis who's also feeling call of the moon, but in a much small baby way because she has moon madness. She's not fully fledged werewolf, but she still feels the agony influence of the moon and then we also have a runa feeling the exact same way in fact the only person in the house not feeling anger is of course this little googie here like hey on he's instead feeling frustrated that his hot wolfy blood is making him feel hot so yeah lots of different emotions going on in the house it is a full moon tonight and only i've reached it at 2 a.m which is a little bit annoying because i like to experience the full moon with them especially with them being wolfies and we won't get it for a little while but i am playing two packs at the same time so kind of makes sense but yeah, strong full moon energy this evening, which makes for... Oh, look at them. Look how... Oh, angry little wolf children looking frustrated there. So they're off to go do some angry stomps around the house. And like Heon, actually, if I go on him now, one, he looks kind of oblivious and happy. But two, he was feeling tense there. It's just disappeared, which is really annoying because I wanted to see what it was all about. But he said that he was feeling tense from all the wolfies around him. I think like you guys are really torn as to whether I take him down, you know, activating his dormant wolf abilities or switching him out for like, you know, a different like something else spellcaster some of you guys have suggested or vampire which would be the complete opposite and i just like i feel more leaning towards switching him out for something else because i just don't feel like he fits in with his family wolfishness like one he wasn't raised that way so he's kind of feels quite distant from it but two he's just sort of different for them he doesn't have this like rough fun like heaty wolfiness about him to me he's kind of like a bit cooler a bit separate like just a bit of a different vibe so so I don't know. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I'm going to send him to bed. But for my little wolflings, I'm actually not because this is their first full moon. I feel like they should be like, I don't know, doing wolf business, like doing some howls and just kind of getting in that like wolfy spirit, you know? Oh. You guys also, and I completely agree with this, liked Artemis as maybe being our wolf that does, you know, the other clan that we've not like really explored very much. I feel like she would be a really, really good fit for that. And last episode as well, Luna became alpha of the wild fangs. So she is now like full on alpha, which means she can move on to her next quest. She's read about the vampires in... Oh, look at that. Just whipping out some meat. Um... <laughs> She's read about the vampires in, you know, when she was like looking up all the lore and stuff. Look at this wolfy behavior going on right here. <gasps> Rain is now an apex werewolf. <gasps> He's the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the top of the food chain. Ooh, well done, Rain. So yeah, now she's like, okay, I've taken on pack members that I think weren't respecting me. Now it's time to take on those with the ultimate disrespect, which is of course vampires. And she wants to get them all riled up as well. So I'm going to save these two. Rain, I still need for him to defeat Greg in a werewolf brawl and him becoming Apex is going to help out a lot with that because it means that I can make him an alpha wolf, which increases his chance of winning fights and challenges. I also have one more point to spend on him. Do I do super speed? Luna Howl, which lets him transform temperaments. A most forbidden howl. Ooh, be warned, he may never be the same again. Okay, that's kind of scary. Ooh, I don't know which one to go for. Oh, this would be really cool. He is digging a lot. I guess I can keep building these up, right? I kind of want him to become the most forbidden howl. So I'm going to do both of these two. And then he's enraged right now, so I actually can't control him. But once I can, we will try that forbidden howl. And look how much he can smell everyone. Oh, no, he can't. He can do a lunar howl already. He can smell like his, his pack really, really strongly. But I guess one member of the pack not putting out any scent at all. No scent from like Aeon. Okay, let me try this new wolf howl. Does it look any different? Does it sound any different? Oh, it's kind of more, ooh, more of a shaky. Oh, <gasps> okay. He's territorial, which he didn't have before. He also has the mark of the forest. Symbols depicting a forest engraved in a werewolf's heart by the light of the moon. With this mark, both natural fury gains and fun decays are reduced. Okay, so he's gonna gain more fury, but he'll be 
having more fun. <laughs> That's annoying. Survival instincts. He has an extra sense for danger. He wants to try hard to keep himself physically safe. And grumpy wolf. Oh no, I got such a terrible roll. I wonder how often I can do that. Oh, he's doing zoomies right now. Okay, maybe he'll zoom me towards Greg. Just be careful. You're not near Greg's territory, are you? Could I complete that quite early on? I don't know, maybe. But yeah, that was a terrible roll, but I can keep- This is fun because I'll be able to explore a lot of the different temperaments and keep rolling for them to like see what he ends up getting. Where are you? Oh, you're on top of here. Oh, oh, you're straight back down again. Isn't there that thing that I can only harvest at like a full moon? Can you harvest it now? Yes. Oh, yes. Finally, I can harvest this. It's my first time actually being around to harvest this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send a Runa to do it instead because I feel like I just can't see Luna picking flowers. It just doesn't fit her at all. But for this little one, who has a sore throat from howling too much. Oh my gosh, just crazed werewolves everywhere. I sort of feel like she makes me feel more like gardening flower vibes, you know? So with it being a full moon, I'm going to let them just keep being wolfy all night long because it just kind of fits them. Their energy also seems to get a boost at this time. So that's kind of cool. <gasps> and oh, yes, Aruna has also finally had her beastly growth spurt. So growing up is weird enough, but now this, she's finally had that little like things, wolfy things actually happening to her. She's like a whole, she's seems like a whole episode behind in terms of her wolf growingness compared to Artemis. But still, it's cool that it's finally happening to her as well. Oh, you're doing some wrecking up here. Nice. And after their first night being wolflings, everyone's going to be pretty hungry. So I'm going to send these guys off hunting. They're a little bit older now, so I don't mind leaving them at home too much. Oh, <gasps> Look at this cool guitar I got. Is that from... Oh, that's becoming from Leader of the Wolf Fangs. Okay, uh, Wild Fangs. I'm going to give that to Rain. I want Rain to focus more on his songwriting today. I've been doing it each episode, but genuinely, it's taking me a really freaking long time. So songwriting in The Sims just seems to take forever. And this angry little wolf now has these beautiful moon petals in her inventory. Is there anywhere I can put one in her room? I could probably put it on this desk, actually. Where's this chair gone? <laughs> But look, look how cool it is. It's kind of almost like a... Oh, it makes a noise. Ooh. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. You know the rose in Beauty and the Beast? It's in like the same thing and it has the same glow. I really like that. That's so cool. I don't know what you can do with it. You like Latin pop? Yes, me too. And it only blooms under the full moon. Well, does that mean it's slowly going to lose its bloom over the next few days? I don't know. I don't know. Or whether it stays in bloom because it's in this little fella. I don't know. Oh, and not only is like Kayon now like, oh, look how angry he looks. The only thing they got for us with raw meat, he's dumped it on the floor and he's like, did you even taste this? Get out of my kitchen. Maybe you should start working on your own cooking skill because you definitely don't like the taste of raw meat. Yeah, there's nothing in here to eat. So I guess you're just gonna have to grab yourself a quick meal, babes. Oh, everyone loves Latin music in this house. <laughs> Let's go ahead and gift rain. Let's do it as a romantic gift. Corral seductively. Oh, I don't think she's told him that she's in first if you guys remember after her last birth she got told she'd never be able to have any more children imagine just like breaking down to latin music and then you're like by the way i'm fertile why would you say that mid dancing i don't know but we've said it now and she's like but it's fine because we've got three children they're all amazing i mean one of them is worrying me a little bit but they're all amazing and to make things even better Here's a cool guitar I got you. I don't think Rain's gonna mind too much. Good to know. He's like, okay, it's good to know these things before getting into a relationship for sure. You are in a relationship. But okay. Whereas with him, I think he needs to discuss with Luna his new fear that he's got as part of the new part of the park. Oh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get him to discuss it with Lycaon. He can now discuss his fears and his fears are unfulfilled ones. Now, if I remember when he was younger, he was really into like songwriting and guitaring. So I thought now that the kids are a bit older and they don't need quite as much like constant care over them, maybe he can continue with like trying to write his music. He does have one in his inventory, this mournful lament. So I'm gonna get him to keep working on that. And that's helped because he doesn't have that fear anymore. Okay, so I've got Luna feeling angry. The girls are out here just cloud gazing and talking about their first full moon and how it felt for them. Like Heon is playing chess because he loves a good bit of chess. We've got some randomer outside the door and Rain is writing his song. So I'm like, okay, maybe now is a good time for Luna to see if we can try and 
and get disliked by Vlad. In my game, he doesn't have a name. <laughs> he's just, he's an unknown entity. No name and no reflection. Such is life as a vampire. So let's go ahead and do a little travel just on our own. And I'm going to go to the Grimtooth Bar and Bunker because I'm pretty sure it has a lot trait, which means any kind of like soup can turn up there. Supernatural, that is. Not superhero. I've just realized I've come here at 12 p.m., which is not ideal vampire time, is it really? I'm just going to do a little um, somber howl because her fury is getting quite high. And okay, she's feeling fine. She got a good reaction about announcing her infertility. It was taken pretty well. She's happy because she can master her transformation, but she hates cleaning. She's very relatable in that regard. Okay, I don't want them to know that I'm a wolf instantly. Oh my gosh, who's this raging? Is that Greg? Can we just return to normal so we don't give the gig up? No, that's Pablo. And okay, yeah, everyone free everyone runs away and freaks out as soon as they realize this werewolf's here. And for now, I will just like, you know, lay low, figure things out. <gasps> and no way, he's just freaking arrived. I was setting these guys of what to do while we're at home. And oh, th oh, this is gonna be hard. I swear he ordered a drink though. So he must be, <gasps> he's back, he's back, he's back. Okay, okay. Hot pause, hot pause. This is Vlad. Now, this is original Vlad. I actually did a remake of Vlad, which I used in my vampire series, which I'm going to show you real quick. Wow, lots of Connor in there. Lots of Luna in there as well. That's when the bug was in the game, which meant that it would remove their wealth appearance. And okay, here is how Vlad looks to me. But I don't think I can copy and paste appearances, which sucks because like this is how Vlad looks. Can I do it on MCC? Can I like copy and paste appearances on MCC or not? I don't know. I think I can. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to throw him in the household real quick and then I'll delete him. Don't worry. Because like, you know, I'd much rather him look like this. It's just more aesthetically pleasing, right? Okay. So using MCC, I've never done this before. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to go to cast, copy. Oh. <gasps> I can copy everything. And then let's go to nameless random Vlad that's in my game because I've already got the wants and fears with him. So it makes the most sense, right? He wants to like fight werewolves as well. Okay, MCC. Paste body. Okay, paste face. Paste skin tone and physique his face pasted over he looks he doesn't look right hmm that, <laughs> that doesn't look the same to me but let me try one last thing i used the original vlad for this one i just changed the features a little bit but i tried to keep like some of the vladdy features like the angular cheekbones and the longer face you know if i go to dresser copy and paste outfit hair and facial hair and makeup and accessories he has a child by the way Interesting. And then I'll paste all those over. Okay, he's definitely looking closer. The thing that I don't think I can copy and paste is skin details. And obviously skin details, they're doing the heavy lifting with Sims. Oh, wait, copy skin details. Maybe I just never pasted them. Oh, okay, boom. Okay, the only thing wrong is the eyes. Let me just go ahead and delete this one off the face of the earth. Throw you into the sun. And then I'm going to nip into cast real quick because i feel like vlad should have oh you already hate each other oh you guys already have beef Ooh, love that oh you already really hate each other no wonder you want to make him your enemy you'll be disliked by oh look you've not even in oh this is brilliant okay i'm gonna give him red eyes because he's a vampire I feel like he should have red eyes. Yeah, he's a little bit different. I don't think all of it's perfectly come over, but I don't mind that. I kind of like that he's a little bit different. Okay, let's give him some vampy eyes. Yeah, perfect. Updated Vlad. So see, he's still got a long, very angular appearance and angry eyebrows, but he's just hot guy. <laughs> That's all it is. That's what this is all about. Also, I kept his like body type long and like slimmer, but I also made him buff because he's a vampire. So, you know, my own law going in there and it won't let me accept it. I reckon because this bit's not complete. I don't have this top bit. He's like a bugged sim. God damn it. Okay, fine. He doesn't have red eyes, but just pretend he does. Okay, this is great. So we already hate each other. Love that. That's going to make things so much easier. I'm going to do the most annoying introduction he could possibly imagine. I'm going to sniff at him. And he's, oh, he hated that so much that he transformed into a puff of smoke. Like he, oh, we've already got some things going on. He finds me clingy. Is it because I, oh no, she finds him hot. <laughs> oh no. We hate each other, but I can't deny he's the spicy vampire. He probably is right now as well because he's out in the sun. Surely that's annoying him. And our first impression of him is that he's distant, probably because he keeps disappearing into a puff of smoke. He's like, Ugh, I hate your sniffs. Werewolves are like so gross. Like you're so like, 
animalistic, like sniffing and weeing everywhere. It's so gross. Vampires would never. So I think that deserves some snarls whenever I see him again. Problem is he's disappearing at like such a fast rate that I'd... Oh, okay, he's back again. Yeah, let's do a little snarl. I notice how he's keeping to the shade. Ooh. Ooh, he didn't like that. I need to become disliked by him as well. Surely he dislikes me at this point. How can I make him dislike me more than this? I don't know. Werewolf. Ask for werewolf sympathy. Attempt to bridge a gap between the werewolves? No, I don't think I can do that with him, you know? Instead, I'll insult his feeble nature. Like, oh, you vampires, you're so cold and shivery all the time. How would you even manage? If oh, wait, wait, don't do that. It must be so annoying. Like, how irritating for you. I do want to know a little bit. Ooh, sinister personality type. Ooh, he's up to no good. Trying to achieve their goals no matter what the consequences are. And maybe his goals are growing more vampires. Not growing them, but like creating more vampires. Which would be a problem if she knew that we had an unformed werewolf in the pack, you know? I'm going to declare Wildfangs as my superior pack. We now despise each other. Why, why don't we dislike each other though? How have I not got that? Point out the downsides of vampires. Yeah, you guys suck. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting away from this situation. This looks nasty. Can werewolves and vampires like have a specific fight? I don't know. Imply mother is a bat. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna unpin this because clearly it's not working, which is annoying. Yeah, you're in, he's looking a bit sheepish. I'm like, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Never should have come here. <laughs> I can lay a supernatural smackdown. Yes, I'm gonna lay a supernatural smackdown on Vlad. Like his power is weaker here. I'm still hot off a full moon. Also, he's in werewolf territory. And oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, look at the bats flying. Oh, look, well, now we're just kind of staring at each other. There's... Okay, <laughs> there's a bit of romance going on there. I don't know. I don't think you're going to defeat Vlad, but I also got that trait. What are you hitting him with? A fish? I also got that trait, which means that I win more supernatural fights, you know? So maybe, maybe, maybe. I used it to become leader of the wild fangs. <gasps> but if I humiliate him here... Yes, I totally have. Oh my gosh, lady, would you? why would you stand in front of somebody? I've humiliated him and I feel like he would want revenge. I think the only reason I've won is it's like the middle of the daytime. I'm about to go hunt after that. That's made me want blood or fresh meat at least. Um. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, where did he just... Oh, he turned into his dark form. Oh, see, his dark form's pretty grim. Yeah, he needs to go drink away his troubles. But yeah, the sunlight and being in werewolf territory and the full moon just being yesterday means that I had every advantage going into that fight. Why am I still not disliked? That's really weird. But I feel like Vlad now will be absolutely fuming. You might be a winner wolf. That's right, plasma drinker. The night belongs to us. However, that could come back and bite you in the in your fluffy butt. I will just put that out there because now he's hurt and has a grudge and you're just furious with him. But you do still fight. You are now despised good job good job but you do see him still as very attractive and yeah all that fighting has made her real hungry as well okay i'm gonna send her home but yeah i don't think this is the last we'll see of vlad and i don't think he's gonna take it just like lying down there may be some backlash for that oh look beastly presence he's actually feeling tense now it's like hey on just seeing werewolves in their true form rain you might want to uh transform back because it's, he's actually starting to feel uncomfortable with it all now after the full moon he's like yeah this is uh a little bit much for me meanwhile these guys because they had their like i might make them bffs actually because they experienced their first like full moon together they're like closer than ever and Lake Hayon is definitely starting to feel a bit less close to his sisters, which is a shame. In fact, they've become partners in crime. Okay. They can unleash their inner mischief. I feel like that is definitely Artemis's plan and Aruna's a bit more like chill and calm. I feel like she's just kind of going along with it because she likes her sister and also her sister's like kind of like the alpha of their little teeny tiny park. But yeah, I would say like Hayon is definitely feeling a bit lost. He's probably also looking for that companionship or just like an interest of his own because he feels like he's not getting it from his family. So I've sent him off for a little walk on his own and I've sent him up here because look how pretty it is. Look how cute he looks, little, little cross-legged physician. Because he knows his family often go up here, but like he doesn't get anything from being closest to the stars like they do. There's like no benefit to him. He doesn't feel anything. Oh no, he does. Oh, he does. 
He does still feel something from being close to the night sky, which is nice. He's wrecking the sacred place, which all of my kids seem to do. He does have the urge to read something as well because he's a bookworm. So I'm going to pin that. And then on his way back down, back home, down his little, look, they've got like such a little nice route home as well. Like walking through the forest back to his house. <gasps> what if, lo and behold, definitely not me, you know, adding bits here for storytelling reasons. What if on his way home, he stumbled across a wild book? Wait, what was that? What did I just see on the floor? I've been hankering for a new read. Let me just give this a quick analyze. Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1? What is all this about? I don't know. He kind of knows that his family hate vampires. His mother especially. So he's like, okay, I feel like I have to keep this on the low. But this is the origin of the vampire species, their early history and alternate food sources. Tres interessant. So he's come across this vampire book. I'm not saying I'm going to make him a vampire yet. I actually kind of want to see what he wants on his own. Like if he reads about vampires and about spellcasters, is there going to be one that I get the want for or the fear for? I don't know. But what I am going to do is get him to keep this book that he's found on his own a secret. Especially since, you know, everyone's distracted right now. Luna's sleeping under under the stars. Rain is writing a song in, in, <laughs> to the sink. Artemis is getting some sleep before school and Aruna's been, oh, I thought you'd been a little good cookie in cleaning, but apparently you're just dumping it on the floor here. Why, wait, why is no one using this trash can? Where are you taking it? I don't even, okay, weird. But yeah, the fact that he does still feel the draw of the night, but he's afraid of werewolves makes me feel like vampire feels like a good, feels like a good direction for him, you know? And oh my gosh, Rain's definitely returned to his roots. Remember when he enjoyed metal as a kid? And now he's writing a song. He's like, get some inspo by all the old bands that I used to listen to. He doesn't hate loud noises anymore either. So that's kind of cool. Let's listen to some metal. This is my jam. Look at him go. It's kind of metal that you ended up as a werewolf, to be honest. So yeah, he's, look, I've got him back in touch with his younger self. He's a little bit older, but now he's got free time as a stay-at-home dad. He can headbang and write metal music. And I think that makes him, oh, and also think about making out with his wife and be in a dirty environment. Well, wow. and yeah, apparently the whole family like metal. <laughs> so like Aeon's read his book, he's coming home desperate for a wee. And he's now started reading about vampires, which is interesting. I love as well that the toy he keeps in his inventory all the time is a sheep in sheep's clothing. So he's like amongst the wolves, but he is like in sheep's clothing. But he's not really now a sheep in sheep's clothing. He's more like a fluffy bar in sheep's clothing, which I don't know. It's just, I thought was kind of interesting. So yeah, well, everyone else has a little a little sleep for themselves. Both the girls having a little sleep as well. This little fella is reading under the covers and discovering all the things, all the forbidden knowledge that he's not meant to know, like cats and pirate ships. No, like bats on a cold night's breeze, like the, and also dragons. And okay, he's learning a lot of things, basically. It's a wonderful book. Yeah, whilst everyone else is sleeping, he discovered plasma packs. He discovered that vampires can be cured. So it's not permanent. He's unlocked another vampire home. And he started discovering vampire secrets and also last exceptions. So yeah, a lot has been happening with him. What you can do, one of the interactions is to like confess that you are interested in vampires. So I thought maybe he could do that with Aruna because she's like, you know, the sister that probably would take things better. I feel like Artemis would immediately go to the parents and be like, mom, guess what like Aeon is doing? But maybe Aruna will too. Maybe she's worried about him. Have you just woken up berserk? Yeah, you have. But yeah, I feel like maybe they do end up telling Luna. And then as a result, she starts researching and maybe brings him to, I don't know where it is, but there's like a pool somewhere that you can use and like bathe in on a full moon to unlock your werewolf potential. So she's like, right, the next full moon, we're bringing you there. No more of this stupid, maybe it's this one. Yeah, that makes sense, maybe. No more of this stupid vampy nonsense, okay? You're gonna go swim here and transform into a werewolf as your family dictates that you should. So yeah, maybe that will happen next episode. The other thing is from the new park, they now have like ages till they age up, which I don't love because I feel like they've been kids for like a while now. I don't like how it changed this amount of time. It's kind of annoying. So I feel like that's happened to <laughs> vampire. Where was that awesome? My mom was like rampaging and she's like, oh, this is so freaking cool. I love this. I can't wait till I'm a full grown werewolf and I can wee on the floor with reckless abandon. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, she's just 
super excited about that <laughs> so what i think i will do is i will age them up next episode into teenagers and i think at that point we start to unlock a little bit more of their like beastly potential as well so are you still clearing up trash why is your life just tidying up trash i don't know why does trash in this game no longer work i don't know but there is the update for today's episode so i also think when they get to high school i really want to homeschool them because i feel like at that point they're going to be going through like a lot of werewolfy changes and I don't think being in a high school is a good idea for that. So yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see that as well, which would mean we wouldn't be sending them to high school, but I have a whole other high school series. But we've started our grudge now with the werewolves, uh, sorry, with the vampires. This should really update to be like rivalry statuses with all plasma drinkers. And I want to hear what you guys think about like how I'm finding that book in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you join in next time for our little birthday and I will see you guys soon. Bye.